Hey, I'm Dave, and on this installment of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to talk about rocker arms and different mounting styles between pedestal mount, stud mount, and shaft mount. Okay, so today we're going to discuss just basically rocker arm mounting points, the different styles. So you pedestal, stud, or shaft mount. We get a lot of questions about that, so we'll focus there today. Uh, starting with pedestal mount, uh, this type of rocker arm uh, style mounting point is used basically for stock mildly modified engines. Um, you have a, a pedestal, the rocker sits on that and basically bolts right into the cylinder head mounting pad. So. Um, like I say, uh, not ideal for performance-oriented applications, more of a, a uh, low-end stock, mildly modified deal there. Adjustability is a little difficult, you gotta use shims um, for those. So um, if you're getting into a higher amount of, of horsepower, or higher RPM, uh, we'd recommend you step up to a stud mount rocker arm system uh, to reduce flex at the mounting point. Uh, any flex you have within the rocker arm or at the mounting point uh, is going to uh, take away from performance, could result in some power loss, um, might even result in you not getting the maximum amount of lift that you're looking for uh, uh, for your cam and cylinder heads and valves. So, um, so having said that, if you're going to step up to a stud mount system, uh, there's two basic types. You got a press fit and you got a screw in type uh, stud mount rockers. Uh, so what you want to do is um, make sure that your cylinder heads are either threaded for a screw-in type if you're going to go that direction or you're going to want to take your heads out to a machine shop and have them threaded if you're going to use the screw-in type. If you're using a press fit type, um, oftentimes uh, there's been issues with the, the studs pulling out so you may need to have your cylinder heads pinned. Again, we recommend you take your heads to a machine shop to have that done. Uh, if you're going to the screw-in type, which a lot of people are stepping up to now, um, you've got basically three, in, three eighths inch and seven sixteenths inch studs uh, to kind of prevent that, that flex within the rocker system. Uh, you may also want to go with some guide plates. Oftentimes we recommend guide plates to go with those and hardened push rods. Guide plates will uh, bolster the, the studs a little bit more and prevent that flex that we talked about. Um, so, you know. Anything under 7,000 RPM, I, I think, is a, a d ideal spot for uh, stud mount rocker arm systems. Uh, they provide good adjustability as well. Wherever that rocker arm is located on the stud, that kind of sets up your valve train geometry. Uh, so you get a little bit more flexibility as far as adjustment with the stud mount rockers. Okay, finally, we have the shaft mount rocker system. As you can see, these mount on a horizontal shaft are all tied together. It uh, makes the whole system a little bit more rigid. There's no flex in them, therefore less horsepower loss. Uh, more ideal for high RPM applications. Uh, you'll see race teams run these. Usually for street applications, it could be a little bit of overkill using a shaft mount system because they are a little bit more expensive. You might not want to be spending that money. It might not be worth it. Uh, you need to be, like I say, up over that 7,000 RPM operation on a consistent basis, and that's where the strength of the shaft mount rocker system comes into play. Um, if you are concerned about flexing at the studs on your stud mount rocker system, but you don't want to step up to that expensive shaft mount system, you could also consider using stud girdles um, to sort of uh, provide a little bit more support at those studs, prevent that flexing at the mounting point. A couple things to consider though, if you are going to do that, um, you may have to use uh, taller style valve covers for clearances. Um, so that's also a consideration. You're going to want to check with your sales rep on that to make sure about your clearances. And anytime you're messing with anything with your, your rocker ge geometry, your valve train geometry, uh, switching out rocker arms, you're going to want to go ahead and recheck your push rod lengths and uh, make sure your valve train geometry is where you need it to be. Uh, just a disclaimer for any time that you're swapping out rocker arms. So once again, a pedestal mount, rocker arms, stock, mildly modified. Uh, if you're stepping up your performance using some more aftermarket modifications, stud mount rocker arms, either press fit or screw in. And then for ultra high horsepower, high RPM applications, 
that's where you go with the shaft mount rocker systems. Uh, if you have any more questions about rocker arms, we did do some other videos. Uh, you might want to check them out on uh, rocker arm ratio, for example. Uh, go ahead and check out any of our other quick flick videos. Uh, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.